So, so when we got here on Thursday morning, um, there was nothing in this building. It was four walls. So we we set it all up. We do then we do the all the all the treatment for these three days. We don't we don't check anything. We just check you know your vitals and your teeth. That's it. <laughs> Anybody can walk through the door. Everything set up and strategically planned so everything can flow, so you can do numbing, restorative, so it's not a lot of wait time for the patients and you're optimizing that time for them. It's basically very similar to a dental office where you come in the front door and you tell what the receptionist what your problem is and then you move on to a triage. Right, whether it's we send them places, infections are first, so whether it's extractions or a root canal or, 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 uh, or send them out to fillings, do a lot of hygiene, a lot of cleanings. So it's, yeah, from us, then they just get dispersed through the whole clinic. They'll say, all right, you have a tooth that needs to come out, then you're going to go to x-ray, then they move you down to anesthesia, so there's a station where we get people numb, then they'll move on to the oral surgery department and get their tooth taken out and then flow out through exit <laughs> and get their post-op instructions and or loop door. back around and come through again get their teeth clean get some fillings done mm -hmm. it's almost one-stop shopping for some people there's people who have gotten all of their dental work done here and it's amazing that that happens i was here yesterday too and then it was like i did a filling and root canal and today i came back for the extraction on Tutu. It's awesome. It's like everyone is like super nice. It's really well organized. Everything's clean. They really like do a good job to make you feel comfortable. I, you know, I brought my kids with me today. I came here and we started seeing patients at six o'clock in the morning till somehow about 5 p.m. when we stopped. Then went back to the hotel, came back in this morning, but today I slept in well. I woke up at four o'clock. It's a 12-hour shift, if you can say it. 12 hours of fun. I did expect it. I just didn't know how, how elaborate and how well-organized this is. And I think it's wonderful that people are willing to give their time to help other people. That's what it's about. We need each other. I've been up at radiology a lot, taking x-rays, um, talking to the kids. Uh, they were actually teaching me Spanish, a few of them, which is cool. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different people here, which is awesome. I've seen veterans, I've seen children, I've seen, I've seen college students, you see teenagers, you see parents. And it can be a, a, a transformative process for some of these patients. They've had, unfortunately, very little dental care for much of their lives, and so to come here and get so much done for them, it has a really profound impact on their oral health. I had a little inferiority complex with my teeth, you know, because I haven't been taking care of them due to cost and I didn't really like people in my mouth. But I, I, my experience is I really feel lifted, you know. I know it's going to improve my life quite a bit, you know. I'll be able to smile and uh, talk more openly because my, I'm not hiding my teeth, you know. And then I got my teeth clean. I feel like I came in for a tune-up, but I got a lot of body work done too, you know. The staff was excellent. Everyone treated you like they loved you. And I just say, I want to appreciate them for taking out my wisdom tooth. It's been a pleasant experience. They, um, they did an extraction and they did a, a flipper. Um, and uh, I'm so happy and they cleaned my teeth as well. So I'm really excited. I can smile again. This event this year has changed my life. And the reason why I can say that is because they gave me back my smile. I can smile, I was ashamed to smile because I was missing so many front teeth. And they totally fixed my front teeth smile and I'm grateful for that. I feel wonderful, most definitely blessed. And I'm so glad I came. I, one of the highlights was a woman that came from Springfield, she came up to Rockford. She's actually volunteered with us before, but she has never, she hasn't had work done. And so we talked her into having some work done and she had a uh, partial denture made, which changed her whole smile. My sister drove in from Chicago. And so I smiled for her and she said, oh my God, I've got to show you this picture. And um, she had a picture from, I think 20 years ago with her. 
and she shared that with, with her new smile and it, it looked great. So she was really happy about that. My smile has been restored, something I did not think would ever be able to be done. Well, I lived in Florida for like 20 years and the dentist I went to back in 2014 uh, was charged with Medicaid fraud. She was pulling teeth that weren't supposed to be pulled and I was one of the patients and she had removed these side teeth. Dental insurance is so expensive. I mean, to have anything, I mean, I went from 2014 till now until I could finally get a partial. I, I mean, what, what they're giving the people in the community is like life changing. Really, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Sorry. I cried like all day yesterday when they told me that they give me a partial. I was like, oh. yeah. No, it's awesome what they're doing. I've seen a lot of kindness, and I think to be here today, you got to be kind of like a caring kind of person. And the lady over here was telling me uh, when I was checking out, she says uh, she she likes caring for people. And I think if we're more like that, life's going to be a little easier to get around. I can smile again. My teeth look pretty. I thank every every volunteer that came out to do this program for the neighborhood and the surrounding city. All the dentists that came out, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. And I brought my brother, he's gonna smile too. Yes, yeah. So the wonderful part about it is just seeing people be so grateful for the care that we've provided for them. And it really touches your heart to know that they actually received something that they needed. And by bringing an event like this to someone's town, it helps everybody understand like what the needs in the community are and how we can help. Because it, when it comes down to it, you know, your Illinois Dental, State Dental Society members are really interested in helping to protect the health of the people of Illinois. Today was amazing. All these stories, people, they come in, they waited all this time and they got to your chair and you hear their stories. And when they finish, they're happy because we've been able to help them. It is very, very good. They are all volunteers, such a very nice people. And you feel like you are not in a hall like this, but you feel like, I mean, like if you go to Disneyland or Disney World, that is how you feel. The amount of volunteers and the, am the amount of help that they're given is just incredible. And uh, it's definitely an amazing, it's been an amazing experience, yeah. Besides just the fellowship and the camaraderie that we can all leave and, and have together, it's the it's it's the little the little carbon print that we've made for the patients that are that were in pain and now are aren't, or, or a smile or uh, or being able to get a job. I'm just very proud of doing this. Um, can't wait to do it again. I'm exhausted, but it's a good exhausted because I know we did a lot of good things today, and I am already looking forward to Mission of Mercy two years from now. I can't wait to be back.